All right, guys, I'm back. So I've cleaned up my liner on this other eye. They're both about as good as they're going to get. Like I said, I don't normally like to use a pencil liner, and that probably will end up being more of a lip product for me. All right. So now I'm going to do mascara and then apply the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. I think the name of these, I don't know if everybody got the same, but mine, I think, are called Instaglam. And they're really pretty, just like super feathery lashes. They do have kind of a thick band, so hopefully I don't have a reaction to that. So I'm going to apply mascara to both the top and bottom. And you can use these glitter drops as a body shimmer too. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to take this uh, flat, this is like a little small detail or blending brush. This would be good for like if you put too much um, eyeshadow like I did a little bit out here, you can remove some of it with this brush, just kind of soften it. But I'm going to use these um, shimmer drops, the glitter drops with this flat brush it's not picking it up very well so I might have to dip it a couple of times here and then I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corner here I really like to add shimmer to the inner corners of my eyes and it's totally taking off my foundation I don't like that so I'm going to use a different brush. I'm just going to use a flat concealer brush is what I normally use to apply um, highlight and stuff to the inner corners. But I don't normally use a liquid highlight, so this is new for me. So I'm just going to dab it. I think that that um, blending brush was a little too stiff. It's taking off my product there probably could even apply with your fingers let's see just spread it out a little bit there just kind of dab it yeah that worked really well okay all right so I've got mascara on that's probably dry by now so I'm going to take these out, brand new box, with tweezers. So I'm just going to get the edge of the band up here and pinch it and pull. And it's, pro it's only attached on the two edges there, so you should be fine. Um, I grabbed it in the middle and then pulled it the rest of the way. They're pretty thick band, so you don't probably don't have to worry about the band breaking. So now I'm going to measure this on my eye and see if I need to trim it down, which I'm sure I will. So I'm just going to measure from the inner corner where I would apply the inner corner to the outer and kind of guess how much I need to cut off. So it looks like I need to cut off probably about that much of the end of the lash. And I'm also going to cut the little tip off. That little tip bothers me when I blink, typically on lashes. I think it's just something for you to grasp with the tweezers so that you can get them out of the case. But I always cut that off. And I like to always underestimate how much I'm going to cut off. So I'm going to cut off a little bit less than I think I need to. And then I'll save this little piece 
in my lash box because you never know you may end up wanting to add it to the end for a little extra fullness or you may use it for costume makeup for Halloween or something so I always save that now you're gonna take the lash and you're gonna kind of work it and bend it that makes it more comfortable on the eye when you kind of break it in a little bit I'm just applying that. I'm almost out of glue, so it took me a minute longer than usual. And then I'm going to grasp these on the lashes with the tweezers and just kind of fan them and let it dry until your glue gets a little bit tacky. And then you're going to tilt your head back. Let me lower my chair a little bit here. So you're going to tilt your head back so that your eyes are looking down. And I like to apply right in the middle, just kind of press it, and then get my inner corner pressed down, and press down the outer corner. And these lashes might look pretty dramatic in the box, but they're actually pretty natural looking with the um, liner and mascara on. You definitely, when you wear false lashes, you definitely want to have some sort of um, eyeliner on just to help blend that band. Just make sure that's stuck down good. All right, so now I'm going to do the other lash and then we'll do lips. And you do want to measure again because, you know, your eyes can be different sizes. They're not always the same. Hands are a little shaky. This bad boy. I wonder if everybody got the same color glitter drops. Oh. You want to shake these before you use it too. I guess that would have been good to know before I put them on. All right. And if you'll notice, I came up over my brow to put that on rather than down from like this it's a lot easier if you, you come up from the top just pushing the outer corner down I may not have put quite enough glue on this one but we'll see hopefully it sticks now you can take your little extra pieces that you cut off, add some glue to them. And I didn't add any glue to them, but I'm just gonna show you that you can stick it to the outer edge there for a little more flare on that outer edge. It's sticking already. If I were gonna be going out tonight, I probably would do that. 
All right, now for lips, I didn't get a lip product, so I'm going to use one of my own, and then I am going to add the glitter drops on top. So I'm going to use just, hmm, yeah. So I'm going to use just a classic red. This is, it looks kind of pink on the um, video there, but this is Jeffree Star Red Rum. Actually, I think I'll use um, his, from the holiday collection, it's called Poinsettia, and it's not matte, it's shimmery. So I'll use that, and then I'll add some of the glitter drops to the top of it. Don't mind the little slobbering baby coming in here. He's gonna join us. All right, so I'm just gonna clean off my lip brush here real quick with my brush cleaner on the towel. I have my towel on my leg, so I'm trying to make sure that I'm not spraying through the towel onto my pants. All right, so I'm just gonna fill in my lip and then line my lip with the lip brush with the lipstick. smash mommy's toes okay don't smash your fingers I'm definitely much more of a fan of his matte formulas than the shimmer formulas, but this is a little bit more of a holiday red than the other red, so it works better for this purpose. What are you doing down there, Munchkin? Hmm? All right, now I'm gonna apply the shimmer drops and hope, hopefully I don't just completely ruin this lipstick application. So for these shimmer drops, I'm going to shake them this time, and I'm going to use a smaller flat brush. This one. So I got this in last month's boxy charm. I got this uh, green set of brushes. So that flat angled red smash or 
it's not even angled, just flat, stiff brush that I clean my eyeliner off with. If you got October's BoxyCharm, you may have gotten this one, and it will work just as well. But I'm going to use this round, stiff. Ugh. Oh, oh. You want to come sit with mommy? Come here. Come on, you can come say hi. Come on. Yes. Say hi. Say I'm being a grumpy. Yes. This is why mommy takes so long to do the videos. Yes. Say hi there. Who's that baby? Who's that baby right there? Hi, baby. Hi there, hi there. All right. So we're going to attempt to do this with a baby in our lap. Adjust my mirror here. Okay, don't touch mommy's things, okay? So I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to get some on the brush. And then I'm going to apply to the uh, Cupid's bow up here at the top and a little bit to the center of my lip. And then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of blend it. Okay, wiggle worm. Ooh, I actually really like that. I may not need to blend that with my finger. <laughs> and there goes some of my stuff. Oh well. pretty. All right. And that's it. Hope you like it. And I'll post pictures of the, uh, finished look. It always looks different in a picture than on video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you can do something with it.